Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you this kind of fun little shortcut to making and getting these large airplanes started in a hurry, and that's using auto-completing checklists. Let's check it out. So normally when you're sitting inside this lovely airplane, you, know, you get your little checklist out, you come to the top of the screen, click this button, and you sit there going, oh boy, here we go. Now believe it or not, uh, we don't have to do any of this. There's actually a built-in feature into Flight Sim that will do it for you. So what I'm going to do is head over to Assistant Options. I'm going to go down to Piloting. And where it says, oh, lovely, 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 take a look at this, Assisted Checklist. I'm going to go ahead and set that to the On position, Apply and Save, and go ahead and Resume. When I've done that, you will observe that there is a brand new page at the bottom that says Autocomplete Page. I'm going to click on that. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> now, one of the things that this does, which I'm very impressed with, is it actually takes the time to double check to make sure everything is started correctly. So one of the components you'll probably notice down here is after running through this segment, you'll see that the APU starting procedure is actually choo-chooing through. And now that it has done that, you can see it is blasting through all the other components here. And it's actually gone through and hit all of our switches, got it running. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go ahead and press autocomplete page. You can see just like that, it is blitzed through. It pressed every single one of those switches smoothly. I come in here, I can press the autocomplete page. And you will notice here that it is actually taking the time to start each one of our engines individually. It'll actually do co-pilot processing. Uh, you can actually watch as the individual power starts coming up. Keep in mind, at any point, I could do something dumb and like pull a switch or something like that that would cause an interference in this. And it would basically panic attempting to try to get all those components to be working correctly and during that particular time when that happens. But other than that, you'll notice this process was really, really, really quick. Now, some people, of course, say, hey, that makes no sense. I could just press uh, Windows key E and get this thing started right away. You absolutely could do that, uh, Control E, rather. And now the reason, of course, that that's not necessarily desirable is sometimes switches are missed, which can affect the operation of this particular aircraft, depending on which one. The next question you're going to say, of course, is uh, does this work for payware airplanes? And the airplane question is sometimes. Uh, some of them are fantastic. Uh, they'll start, snap your fingers, they're good to go. Other ones, It'll go ba ba and pretend to check the boxes, but nothing will actually work. But other than that, enjoy.